So when you're licking this, what you're licking is snow that fell hundreds of years ago. <laughs> My name is M. Jackson, and I'm a National Geographic explorer. I study glaciers. Happy dance. Happy dance. Huh? Happy dance. One of the best parts of my job is exploring ice caves. Come on in. A little drippy, a little spooky, glowing with reflected light. These tunnels can be dangerous. If you've read the book Explorer Academy, The Falcon's Feather, you know main character Cruz had a mission in one of these that didn't go exactly as planned. Frozen caves are fascinating, but boy, I hate being wet and cold. First thing I gotta do is put on another set of socks. I really have to bundle up. That's a lot of layers. These animals come pre-dressed for the frigid climate. For them, fur and blubber does the trick. They love the ice just like I do. You are welcome to come closer if you need a snuggle. Must resist the urge to hug wild animals. But the penguins are just so cute. Hiking in Iceland. <laughs> you guys following me? You know, when I was growing up, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I wasn't much of a student. I didn't love reading or math. Science was always interesting to me, but I didn't know that could be a career path. I never met another scientist, let alone a lady scientist, but I did know that I liked glaciers. I loved them. I felt passionate about them. Eventually, I met some National Geographic explorers who opened up doors for me. Now, I have the job of my dreams, traveling the world and researching ice. The rate of melting has never been so high. I'm determined to spread the word about this. Many animals depend on glaciers as their habitat, but humans need them too. They store around 75% of the world's fresh water. If the Antarctic ice sheet were to melt, Many coastal cities around the world could be lost as the sea rises. Large additions of fresh water would also change the ocean ecosystem. Some organisms, like many types of coral, depend on salt water for survival and may not be able to adapt. The good news is we can work together to save glaciers. The more we know about ice, the more we can get on board saving it. And that's what encourages me, because I think we can change the outcome. <laughs>